everybody, today I thought I would have a little chat with you guys about the thought of going to university. I have noticed that a lot of people have sort of similar worries or maybe necessarily not even worries, they're just generally, it's not an option, university is absolutely not an option for them um, and they talk about it like it's not an option and that kind of confuses me a little bit um, because it's not simply because they don't want to go, it's, it's that feeling of almost feeling like you don't deserve to go and I think that is a feeling that kind of resonates with me a lot so I thought I'd kind of have a little bit of a chat with you guys. Um, I am from a family of people that went to university, my grandma and granddad went to university, um, my parents have both been to university, my mum actually went to university a little bit sort of later on um, but she still has very recently um, graduated and then as well my older sister went to university as well and I think that was kind of the reason I always thought I would go to university because it was what everyone else did but I definitely had that kind of feeling of do I deserve to go you know my older sister was very academic she did really well in all of her GCSEs really well in all of her A levels um, and that was sometimes quite a lot to live up to and sometimes made me think you know god she really deserves to go to university do I deserve <laughs> to go to university um, and it's such a silly phrase, like we need to get rid of that phrase, there's nothing about deserving um, to go to university or feeling like you don't belong at university. Um, it is quite a big step, so you know, you're, you potentially are going to sort of move away and it's that feeling of sort of belonging somewhere else and I, I completely get that. University is a step up from school or college, but it's not an unachievable step up and that was something I learnt quite quickly. So, you know, instead of having your lessons, you'll have lectures. And yes, they're a little bit different. Sometimes they're a little bit longer, but usually that means, you know, you've got that kind of theory side of things, but then you have the chance to kind of put that into practice. Or maybe you haven't got a lecture, maybe you're going out on a work placement and actually experiencing that job role, which, if anything, boosts your employability. So it is a step up, but it's... I very quickly realised it's a really cool step up and it's something that I never thought I'd be able to go and do and, and I was doing it. And then you've got, you know, you've got your lectures and your lessons and then, you know, instead of having your um, teachers that may potentially kind of, you know, chase you for work and make sure you're getting that work in, um, you've got your lecturers that don't necessarily chase you. And that is such a good kind of sense of independence and like, it's like they really trust that you know you can you can do that for yourself and you're going to get the work in and you're you're going to do everything you need to do um to get kind of that qualification and um, so they, they aren't kind of chasing you for it but at the same time that was something that also worried me was that kind of you know i quite liked that my teachers at college um would push me to get stuff in because i'd be worried that i wouldn't do it otherwise and I was thinking, okay, if the lectures aren't going to do it, am I going to get the work in? Am I going to do everything on time? I, I'm somebody that needs that push. Um, but actually, as long as you ask for it, you'll get all the help you need. So just make sure that you use what is there on offer to you at university. And, and all universities will have it on offer, whether it's going and speaking to sort of... Um, advisors within within your institution or whether it's going and speaking to your lecturers and saying do you have you know five minutes to kind of have a little bit of a chat with me um i distinctly remember i was struggling with an assignment once it was one of my first um assignments in my first year um and my lecturer actually was like right let's just go and have a little cup of coffee and talk about it and she was so so helpful um and that was like the first assignment that i got like a b plus in um so i was really really excited about that and that was just all through the help of the lecturers um, and they really i really did feel like at the university i went to they had a lot of time for you as well and um, which was something that was just really important to me so basically the help is always there just making sure you ask for it. it's just a little bit different it's that sense of independence and looking out for yourself which is what it will be like in the working world as well um, so it's kind of a good preparation for that so I actually quite enjoyed that independence even though it was something I was slightly worried about to begin with another thing as well is kind of carrying on with activities that you enjoy so I was part of um, being a drama student um, I was part of a drama school and a dance school when I was back home and I was kind of worried that I was going to go away to university um, and live away and, and not get a chance to carry on with things like that but actually there was loads of sort of sports teams and societies you could get involved in so I was part of the musical theatre society and I had such an active involvement in that and it became a really big part of my university experience um, and I sort of gained loads of skills through that as well um, so that was something really really important to me and it was something I got to carry on um, which I didn't realise because it's not something I'd looked into to begin with being part of that society was something that was really important to me um, 
and not only that, it was a great way to make new friends as well. I was making friends through my society, I was making friends with people off my course, I decided to live away, so I was making friends with people I lived with and things like that. Um, I was making friends with people that commuted in as well and they were kind of using my place to crash at and things like that. Um, so I was very, very quickly having this sense of belonging and having it sort of a new home that was, I could kind of call my own, which was really, really nice. I think a lot of people worry that they're gonna get to university and everyone's gonna kind of just be sat on their phones or not wanna speak to people. Everyone's not gonna wanna speak to you because you're a stranger, but the very important thing to remember is that everyone is in the same boat. I've never been somewhere where people have been so sociable and so keen to kind of make friends. Um, and I did meet people that were a little bit more shy, maybe a little bit more um, nervous to speak, but hopefully those other more confident people kind of brought them out of their shells a little bit and everyone just seemed to make friends so quickly and find their kind of social fit really really quickly um so that's definitely not something to worry about you know you you do deserve to go and you are going to have that kind of sense of belonging as well um and from kind of a point of view of whether it's actually even possible it definitely is it's it's really important to look into how it's possible to to go to university if it's something you want to do obviously if it's not something you want to do, you know, it's it's completely up to you as well, but I don't I don't think you should write it off because you think it's something that you don't deserve. Um, it's a really important thing to think about. A lot of people worry as well that they're kind of going to come to the end of their degree and they're not going to go straight into a job or, or something like that and that kind of employability aspect, which is obviously, you know, the whole, a lot of the reason people go to university is to kind of get that those qualifications and um, to be able to go into a job. Um, and again, completely understand that. I think a lot of people, that's, that is what they think about. And that was something important to me, but a big part of it was kind of the experience. And actually going to university, I wasn't dead set on a career. I wasn't entirely sure exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to go to university and, and have those experiences to kind of create that path for me. And that is exactly what happened, not only through my course, um, where we had so many different opportunities to take on work placements and tour our theatre projects and get paid to do it um, and all that kind of stuff. Um, and throughout my society as well, getting to lead large groups of people in teaching them a dance um, as I got to be choreographer for that society or getting to be that kind of friendly face um, as, that people want to come and speak to as members representative. Um, there were so many sort of transferable skills I gained just from all the little different bits I got involved in um, and generally just that independence of living away. I think being away, being at university, uh, that's what gives you the opportunities and that's where these kind of job ideas do come up and you know, you go on these work experiences or you meet new people and you network and you think, actually, I, that's something I'd really like to get involved in. That's something I would never have thought about before because that's something that, you know, nobody spoke to me about when I was in college or school, that that's a completely new thing. And uh, that happened to me quite a lot at university. So that's definitely something to think about as well. But yeah, I think I can, I can ramble on for ages, but I think I can't express enough how much university has kind of helped me grow as a person without sounding ridiculously cheesy. Um, but yeah, it is, it is kind of that experience where you're gonna... So I can, I can talk forever about why I found university to be a really unique and kind of exciting experience for me and how it kind of helped me grow as a person. Um, but it is all about you. This isn't a video where I'm telling you to go to university. This is a video for if university doesn't feel like an option for you I want you to know that it is and university absolutely is an option for you there are so many different um, opportunities and ways that you can get to university and if you do have any questions um, about that if you do still after this video think absolutely not you've you know you said this this and this but actually how do I get there from a financial point of view how do I get there through my application what do I actually do to get there um, and you might have all those questions, so please, please, please pop those in the comments below. Or if you want to go on to our um, social media, you can um, private message us on Facebook as well um, and ask any of the graduate ambassadors any questions you might have about sort of the application process or anything like that. Um, but yeah, this isn't really about that. This isn't a video where I'm telling you to go to university and, and do that. This is just a video to remind you that you do deserve to go. I, I was lucky enough to have my parents kind of encouraging me and saying, you know, you do deserve to go to university. What, what do you mean <laughs> you, you think you can't go? Um, and actually 
that did kind of help a lot and you know they kind of took me to some open days and you know got me thinking about it a lot more but you might not have somebody encouraging you and that's absolutely fine um i was lucky enough that my parents knew a lot about university um <laughs> because they'd, they'd been themselves i just wanted to have a little bit of a chat with you to tell you that you know you do deserve to go to university and if that is something that you really want to do then definitely go and pursue that there's so many ways and um, that you can go to university it was such a cool experience for me um and i'd hate to think that somebody's missing out on that experience because they think they don't deserve it or they don't belong um, because those were my worries too and I did a three-year degree I met some amazing people I had some amazing experiences um, and I kind of wish I could do it all over again I almost just wish I could put somebody in my position now kind of looking back on that experience um, I think back to kind of graduation day and how proud I was and how sort of happy I was but actually it's more it's more kind of now that I look back on all those experiences and think wow that's really was quite incredible and I'm so glad that at the young age of 18 I decided you know what yeah I'm gonna do it I'm gonna give it a go I'm, and I'm gonna see what happens and you know maybe I don't deserve it or maybe maybe I won't belong maybe it will be this horrible experience and I don't know but I'm just gonna go for it and I'm so glad I went for it because it was completely the opposite of any of that and actually I felt so comfortable for three years um I met so many people you know I want everyone to experience it I'm gonna leave you on that note um I hope this video has been helpful for you um, like I said, if you do have any questions, there are plenty of graduate ambassadors that will be willing to speak to you, um, so don't worry about that. Um, but yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed this video and that you have found it helpful. Um, if you have, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see any more videos like this, please pop them in the comments below. Um, and we'll be more than happy um, to talk about some more subjects if that's something that you would really be interested in. Um, but until then, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!